At six, a potential breakthrough in the fight against climate change, and it's coming from our own backyard at ASU. The university announcing a business agreement with a Dublin based company to build on a mass scale. These that you see here, they are dubbed mechanical trees and they are uh, designed to take out CO2 out of the atmosphere. It's an exclusive invention belonging to an ASU researcher who will now see his creation produced on a commercial scale. It has the potential to be huge, huge and to do great things. Joe Dana joins us in Studio 12A to explain why there's hope that this can quite possibly and realistically save the world, Joe. Uh, no kidding. So set aside everything you've been hearing lately about fighting climate change. Instead of focusing on the cars and factories that pollute the air, what if we could just clean up the air? taking out the CO2 that's causing the problem. And as far as I'm concerned, it's garbage. We have to clean it up. Dr. Klaus Lackner is director of the Center for Negative Carbon Emissions at ASU, proposing a bold new approach to curbing climate change. And in the beginning, people said this is crazy stuff, but then they started to listen. It involves this machine that grabs carbon dioxide from the air. Lackner invented it in 1999 and has been perfecting it since. He built an industrial scale model of it last year with the help of ASU students. These flat sheets you see are the active material which pulls CO2 out of the air. He showed me how it works using this mini model. What you see here is a little cube which has been standing in the lab all day. It has it loaded itself with CO2. When it's wet, it gives it back. So now it's in a chamber where we can get the CO2 off it. Water cleans the CO2 off the filter and, like an elevator, transports it down through a tube into a concentrated form. What's left is liquid CO2. Lackner envisions one day storing it underground or selling it for specific uses. In the same way a company like Waste Management collects and recycles garbage, Lackner wants to make CO2 collection and disposal a sanitation industry. So ultimately we have to figure out a business which will be on the trillion dollar a year scale worldwide to collect all the CO2 back. Lackner estimates cleaning the air would require building around 100 million carbon capture machines. By comparison, the world manufactures about 80 million cars and trucks a year. So if the world decides to do it, it can do it. A Herculean effort, no doubt. One that would require governments to get on board with new policies that pay for CO2 cleanup. Initially, this is not cheap. But he says it can be done, comparing it to the environmental dilemma America faced in the early 19th century. Raw sewage. People argued sewage doesn't really hurt anybody. A little bit of slop hasn't done anything. And besides, you can't prove that it causes disease. And furthermore, we can't afford putting tunnels under all the cities. But eventually, we got convinced. It's a radical idea, but the world may be running out of options. The firm investing in this plans to put carbon farms first in the U.S. and the Middle East. A United Nations report supports this idea. It concludes that carbon capture technology like this has the potential to help the world reach its climate goals. Joe Dana, 12 News. All right, Joan, pretty cool it was invented right here.